So today I'm going to be putting this on my bike because that's it. When I go over a bump or just pedal hard, the chain slips like it was a run away or something. So I'm putting this one on. And that one, it was bloody ridiculous. <laughs> I've finally got the new cassette installed and the reason it took me so long and it didn't just take me a few minutes is because well, see, the B-tension screw, they have inverted it because the, you know, the, the, the bit that you turn, yeah, that was going through there and then that end of it was sticking up there before but, well, it wasn't long enough because the, this the rail is probably only rated for like a, I don't know, like a, up to 30, 6, 2000 or something like that. So this isn't long enough because, well, if I hadn't inverted it like this, then when I was in gear one, the smallest, but the, the, the biggest one, but the smallest one, what have you got? The one where your legs spin like the having a spaz attack or something. Um, yeah, when I was in that, the jockey wheel on the train was just, like, digging into this. Well, obviously the chain's better run against it, but it was so close to it. It was, it was just going like, because it was, like, grinding against the thing, and it was just horrible. So I've had to invert it like this, and it'll, it's really loose, and, like, if there's no tension, like, like, wait a minute. If there's... You stupid. If there's no tension on the screw, like, if there's no person against it like that, then, like there, it's really easy to spin around, so I might just put some glue or something, and hopefully that'll be a good bulge and a half. And also, I had to make my, my chain a bit longer because, oh, where is it? I'm obviously going to have to lengthen the chain when this was the old cassette, and then... Look how much bigger that is. This is like a about a thirty-two tooth or something on the big one. So, yeah, because it's about it's just like the same as this one. That one's a thirty-two tooth, and this one's a forty-two, and this one's a thirty-two. So, yeah, of course I'm gonna have to have a longer chain, but it's so nice. And it, this is so just gunking disgusting. Like all that just shit in it. It just you know, it's, it silenced the hub. Like before, like it didn't even make a noise, and now it's like, it's like so loud compared to when this one was on it. It's like, I'm just so happy with it. Until this pretension screw just, yeah, falls out or something. But I'll try and start something with the pretension screw and all that. And if you're wondering, yeah, this is a new bike. But I had, well, all the frame, the fork, the, this cassette, the pedals, the... Cranks, chain ring, forks, bars, brakes, wheels, everything was on a Sarsen Mantra frame that I had. And I just bought this frame off of eBay for like, what was it? It was £200, but I made uh, like an offer for £150. Postage was £15. And I was like, he accepted it. What? He actually accepted it for like £150. How on earth can you give me this frame with a Fox D8 shock for £150? It's like a bargain of the century, it's absolutely amazing. And I will be getting like a fox fox or something because that one's just rubbish. And yeah, it's so nice. And the reason I have to take the chain off in derailleur in like this gear, it will in like in 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 this one, whatever you call it, in 10, because well, it's, it's a nine speed derailleur in a nine speed shifter in a nine speed chain in a 10 speed cassette yeah i know i just i was going to get a nine speed cassette but like the biggest cassette i could get was like a 36 i think and i think this one's like a 32 so no not worth it not worth it yes it's a new one and it wouldn't skip gears like this fucking thing but if i'm buying something new like if i'm buying something that's more if, if i'm replacing something that's worn out i'd want to get something that's like quite a bit better than it because well 
Well, it's obviously going to be better because th this is broken, but I'd rather get something a lot better when it was fine, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, what I'm saying, I need to take the chain off and the derailleur in, like, this gear because, well, look look how much clearance is for getting the back wheel out because it's a uh, 650B wheel in a 26 inch frame. So I, I could I could say that I can fit, uh, like, this frame hit fits two wheel sizes, but look at the tread in this tyre. There's, well, there's nothing on it because I use it so much and, well, yeah. If that tyre, if the Continental was on the back, then no, it wouldn't fit. I'm sure it wouldn't fit. Because that, that's a 2.4, this is like a 2.1, and it just fits, so. If you're running like semi-slick tyres or something in this frame, then you can't run uh, 650B, but I would just stick with 27, uh, 26. Because anyway, 200 mil rotors and 26 inch wheels, they look bloody massive and I love big rotors, right? That's me finished with my bike and all that, I'll go and finish editing this soon. Well, we did it on YouTube. The rear hub on the back of my bike, for some reason, it's just really loud now. Because I'm putting your cassette on it. And look, hey, listen to this, it's ridiculous.